Some cool kids are learning how to build and restore traditional Latako Dene Nation drums. The group unveiled the work at a smudging ceremony recently in front of hundreds of proud and appreciative spectators. The drum project basically began as a restoration project. Um, we had invited Aboriginal education to the Latako Hall where we are hosting a Latako Dene Nation wellness workshop. Hey Michelle! Hey, what's up? I'm good. We did a youth session, following the youth session, we did an adult and full community session, which is just tying up actually as of tomorrow. And part of the project was that Abed went and sponsored to buy some hides to do some drum making within the school districts. But our youth had stepped up and took the hides and took the initiative to restore an Aboriginal education drum. During the workshop, the kids got amazing hands-on instruction and basically rebuilt from scratch a drum that had sat unused for years. Once the hide was done soaking, we punched the holes in it and um, that took a while because we had a little troubles with some of the tools. But then we found something that worked and we all took turns punching holes into the hide. and. We had a couple people cut like the spare hide up into like one really big long line. That was for like these and like all around here and stuff. And and that took a while because at the time the well elk hide is actually really thick. So yeah, our hands were so hard and everything. I'm pretty sure we all couldn't wait till to like test it out for the first time and stuff. I liked it because sometimes when we were making the holes um, so we can make the handle for it, um, we were like having contests to see how many how many times, um, how many hits you needed to take to um, make the hole. Would you guys work on another drum? Yeah. 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 Why? Because it was fun. I loved making that drum. It was pretty fun because, because um, we had so much fun spending time with each other and like, yeah.